In the early Permian, the globe was dominated by the supercontinent Pangaea and the surrounding superocean Panthalassa. The warming climate led to significant diversification of life on land. The sailbacked Dimetrodon and the early amphibian Ariops were just a few of the multitude of interesting animals from this time period. Marine life experienced a similar evolutionary expansion, and creatures such as ammonites, brachiopods, and the fish Acanthides were likely common sites in the early Permian Ocean. This video will focus on another inhabitant of these waters which was both bizarre and intriguing to paleontologists. Helicoprion was a eugeniodont fish that lived during the early to middle Permian period. Fossils belonging to this genus have been discovered across the world, suggesting that Helicoprion had a ubiquitous distribution. This fish had a streamlined body with triangular fins and a tall forked tail giving it a shark-like appearance. Despite these similarities, Helicoprion was not a true shark and is more closely related to modern Chimera. Reaching a maximum length of 5 to 8 meters, Helicoprion was an enormous fish. However, its size is not its most noteworthy feature. Helicoprion's notoriety stems from its unusual whorls of teeth, a feature which gives this fish its other name, the buzzsaw shark. These teeth were held in a spiral root with the youngest teeth originating from the center and the largest towards the outer edge. Each tooth itself was laterally compressed, triangular in shape, and often serrated. Because Helicoprion's skeleton was made of cartilage rather than bone, these spiraled teeth were often the only part of this fish to fossilize. With limited remains for paleontologists to study, early reconstructions of Helicoprion were often speculative and controversial. Certain researchers hypothesized that the spiraled teeth were used for defense and may have been affixed to Helicoprion's tail, dorsal fin, or upper jaw. Another theory placed this bizarre structure on Helicoprion's lower jaw, where it was depicted as a long prehensile lash which could be swung at prey items. However, the fossilized teeth of this fish have only ever been found as a tight spiral, and were unlikely to have had the ability to extend in this way. As a result, modern reconstructions of this Permian fish place its teeth in a tight coil towards the front of a short lower jaw. It is most likely that the predatory Helicoprion was a bite feeder, as the narrow shape of its jaw would make filter feeding ineffective. Its frontmost teeth were used to snag prey and pull them inwards, while the middle and hind teeth served to spear the prey and bring them further towards Helicoprion's throat. Lack of wear on these teeth imply that this predator ate mostly soft-bodied prey items. However, Helicoprion's coiled teeth may have served to deshell armored prey like ammonites and nautiloids. Additionally, reconstructions of this animal's jaw musculature have revealed that it had a strong enough bite force to prey upon unarmored vertebrates as well. Helicoprion was unable to survive past the Permian period but its bizarre feeding apparatus has maintained its status as one of the most iconic prehistoric fish to this day.